Wait. Kevin, where are you doing a mango tree? Where are you doing a mango tree? Now you want me to fill up the branches of geography? So now must you see tree, the branches of geography there? Bruh. Come out of the tree, huh, mad man? No, because I said branches of geography mean a tree me I talk about. Come into the class, let me tell you what the branches of geography are. Greetings. Greetings! Welcome back to the channel. Now, as you may have realized, the branches of geography are not really about a tree. Geography, as you know, is the study of the earth and all the components that make up the earth. And the two main components that make up the earth would be us humans and all the other physical things that make up the earth. So the two main branches or categories or divisions of geography would be physical and human physical would be all the natural things that are found on the earth rivers mountains plains plateaus volcanoes even the weather while human refers to all the things that are man-made or related to man so under that category there would be subcategories like tourism, demography, population, geography, etc. Now that being said, there are sub-branches of geography. Now some sub-branches of geography would be, as I just said, tourism geography, regional geography, biogeography, climatology, coastal geography, environmental geography, geomorphology, political geography, hydrology, landscape ecology, lithology, all these things are sub-branches of geography. I am trying to make this a short video, so I'm not going to explain all these sub-branches, but I'm going to pick a few and talk about them. For example, hydrology. Hydrology concerns with the amount of the quality of water and its movement across the earth's surface you may be familiar with hydrology because in primary school or in high school you learned about the water cycle and that is also known as the hydrological cycle another is meteorology and meteorology studies the atmosphere of the earth and all the weather processes and predicting of future weather patterns that are involved. Meteorology concerns about observable weather elements. Oceanography concerns about the study of the world's oceans and seas. Oceanographers study marine biology, organisms, currents, waves, and the movement of water, as well as the makeup of our sea floors. Geomorphology is the study of the Earth's landforms, terrain, and the processes that guide these changes. The landforms on Earth usually develop in interesting ways, and these may be as a result of tectonic movements or climatic movements. Population geography is a division of human geography that focuses on the study of people, their spatial distributions, their characteristics, and their density. It is the study of the ways in which there are spatial variations in births, deaths, and distribution, as well as the composition, the migration, and the growth of the populations from one place to another. Population geographers seek to understand the society around them, the structure of the population, and how populations may change through movements and processes. Cultural geography. Cultural geography studies the relationships between the different cultures and places on Earth. Geographers will look at how cultures are distributed over space and how different cultures express their practices on the planet Earth. Development geography studies the quality of life and the standards of living within different communities around the world. Geographers seek to understand the spatial patterns in development and they will look at things such as the economical, the political, and the social factors that affect the quality of living. Did you know that there are 
sub branches such as medical and military geography. Mm -hmm. In medical geography, geographers normally study the patterns in which particular diseases are spread. This means that pandemics and epidemics are usually studied here as well as common illnesses, general health care, and death. So definitely, medical geographers are very interested in the year 2020. Military geographers are those who practice this discipline and they conduct their research and studies within the military fraternity. They study the manner in which military facilities are distributed as well as the best ways in which the troops can be able to utilize the facilities that they have at their disposal. In addition to this, the branch also covers the techniques that can be implemented in developing solutions to common problems that military units face. So there you have it. As I said, I wanted a quick video, a short video, just to let you understand what the branches of geography are. I hope you understood a lot. If you have questions, just drop them in the comment section and remember to like, share and subscribe. Blessings.